हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी पाठशाला आई एम मीनल ढल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द मॉड्यूल जेनेटिक डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पेपर ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन जेनेटिक्स द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर फर्स्ट इज इट विल डिफाइन द जेनेटिक डिस्टेंस देन यू विल बी एबल टू नो द ओरिजिन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ दिस जेनेटिक डिस्टेंस thirdly choose a suitable measure of genetic distance given a data type and genetic model and lastly to calculate distance between dna sequence using mega software now to start with this uh, module the first step in the process of understanding genetic diversity is acquiring genetic information keeping in tune with the research question genetic information was solely compiled in the form of protein polymorphisms that are called as classical markers in earlier studies and has evolved into more informative dna polymorphism in the post genome sequencing era now understanding the genetic diversity follows a two fold approach observing the allele frequencies and delineating the evolutionary distance between alleles the discovery of dna polymorphism responsible for allelic difference provided the foundation of the concept of evolutionary or genetic distance between the alleles the genetic distance is in a sense has three functions the very first one is it provides a similarity index of two sequence or two population second one is it provides an idea of the time elapsed since divergence of the two sequence assuming a molecular clock that is divergence between sequences occurs at an evolutionary rate such that it is related to the time since divergence and the third one is if an evolutionary tree is obtained the branches of the tree represent the distance between nodes that in turn represent sequences or between the populations the concept of genetic distance the evaluation of similarities and differences between population is the basis of any population genetic study and necessary to draw inferences on the evolutionary history of humans after identifying differences the next step is to compute these differences and generate an estimate genetic distance is used as an estimate to quantify differences both between individual and groups of population to adjudge the degree of similarity between them it was first used by sangui in 1953 the genetic distance quantifies the genetic divergence between two molecules that is dna or protein two individuals to study the microevolution or taxa while studying the macroevolution the genetic distance estimate also reflect the time when the divergence occurred if the estimates are used to draw phylogenetic tree the length of the branches represent the genetic distance or represent the distance between the nodes being compared a diagrammatic representation of sequence divergence and hypothetical phylogenetic tree de depicting the relationship between the population carrying the sequence is shown in the given figure The first figure shows DNA sequence divergence of sequence 1 to give two different sequences 2 and 3 and the second figure shows the hypothetical phylogenetic tree showing genetic relationship of X Y and Z population basing on the above sequence finding genetic distances between sequences or population to infer questions on their genetic relatedness is however not this straightforward molecular data is lot more complex than considered in these examples and evolutionary relationships between them are made complex by the presence of different classes of sequence variations 
proportion of homologous sites at which two sequences vary from each other gives a p distance however a p distance is an underestimate of the actual genetic distance because of the different nucleotide substitution rates of the different classes of variation this problem is circumvented by using different nucleotide substitution models that make assumptions on the evolutionary rates of mutation these models will not be discussed here and the module will be limited to the applications of genetic distance estimators and its use in making phylogenetic inferences when we talk about the definition of genetic distance ni nee, in 1987 expounded the concept by stating that genetic distance is the extent of gene differences between population or species that is measured by some numerical quantity a second definition was given by biomont et al in 1998 they defined genetic distance as a quantitative measure of genetic difference be it at the sequence level or the allele frequency level that is calculated between individuals population or species the genetic distance should ideally take into consideration allele frequencies across all loci while studying genetic divergence between population of the same species however only a subset of all loci is sampled in practice to estimate the genetic distance several measures of genetic distance have been proposed by different researchers the genetic differences between two sequences can also be quantified by calculating rights fst but this fst is limited by its ability to make only pair wise comparisons that is only x and y can be compared at one go introduction of genetic distance estimates circumvented this problem by enabling comparison of more than one pair at the same time the choice of a genetic distance measure depends on its application they can be used for classifying population or in making evolutionary comparisons three of the measures have been very widely used that is the nies genetic distance d cavlis froza's cord measure and reynolds weir and kokaham's genetic distance the estimates of genetic distance are calculated basing on certain assumptions like the first one is gene substitution occurs independent of those in other lineages secondly substitutions are independent of those occurring in other sites within the same lineage thirdly evolutionary comparisons are made based on the sequence as it is now and the previous changes are not accounted for the last one is the rate of substitution is uniform across the sites how to choose a measure of genetic distance euclidean distances are the most common measure of genetic distance they are straight line measures of distance used to approximate genetic distance between individuals now individual or population are represented as a point in space and the genetic distance is calculated as the geometric distance between the points but this major does not take into account the evolutionary change in population the relative values and not the absolute values of the distance have a biological meaning now melanobis d square distance Melanobis proposed the d-square measure in 1930 during his studies on racial comparisons. It has since then played a fundamental role in statistical analysis for multiple measurements. It found application in numerical, taxonomy, archaeology, medical diagnostic and remote sensing. The first field where the distance major was applied was craniometry and anthropology. The Melanobis d-square is a descriptive statistic which 
gives the relative measure of a data point's distance or residual for a common point and the distance is zero if the common point is at the mean of distribution of the data points. Nee's standard genetic dis distance. Nee gave the minimum genetic distance denoted as dm to measure the minimum number of codon differences per locus. Here you can see the equation given by Nee. If xi and yi are the frequencies of an allele A in population X and Y respectively, the probability of drawing same and different alleles is given as Jx summation of xi square, Jy summation of yi square and Jx summation of xi, yi, the net minimum codon differences between the two population calculated by the equation given by Ni. Ni also gave the standard genetic distance D in 1972 to quantify genetic divergence which has been used widely and given as D is equal to minus log E i. The value of i is 1 when the two population have equal gene frequencies across all the loci and 0 when none of the alleles are shared. In other words, the estimate i denotes how similar the two populations are. Cavalier Stroza chord major. In 1967, Cavalier Stroza and Edward gave this chord distance in a hypersphere indicates the distance between two population. Each unit of the hypersphere is equivalent to one gene substitution. As you can see, the chord distance formula, the chord major is one of the earliest of the distance major and is still used for reconstructing phylogenies of human population using microsatellites data. However, estimated chord distance does not consider the role of mutation and assumes that changes are due to drift only to bring about the divergence and so is also called as geometric distance. Ni gave a small modification of the chord major for the original one given by Sfroza which, which is measured by DA and you can see the formula in the slide. Weir and Cockerham's distance was given in 1983 and you can see the formula in this slide. The use of this distance which measures the relatedness between individual. The estimate is similar to DCE that is distance chord major and assumptions are same as made for the DCE three inferences using genetic distances. Genetic distance estimation done by pairwise comparison is followed by generation of phylogenetic trees. While a genetic distance is an approximation of the mean number of changes that have occurred after two sequences diverged from their ancestors, a phylogenetic tree reflects the relationship between the genetic distance when multiply pairwise comparisons are made. Now cluster analysis or classification of individual or population based on certain defined characteristics like morphological, biochemical and genetic traits is an important approach used for graphical representation of relationship between individual or population. The tree is built in a stepwise fashion wherein similar sequences or similar groups of sequences having least genetic distance are grouped together. When two units are grouped, they are treated as a single unit. From the units left, the pair with the highest similarity is identified. The process or a logarithm continues till two units are left. A pairwise genetic distance matrix is generated as a result of grouping which acts as the input file for the clustering logarithm. This in turn produces a phylogenetic tree. There are hierarchical and non-hierarchical clustering methods. Hierarchical methods group individuals having most, similar, most similarities first and then keep adding individuals according 
Lee in order to more to less similarity. Unweighted pair group method with arithmetic means and weighted pair group methods with arithmetic means are popular examples. The non-hierarchical methods require mentioning numbers of cluster to be formed at the beginning of the program and so called as k-means clustering. Minimum evolution. This is used for the reconstruction of phylogenetic history through a additive distances the genetic distance between a pair of sequences equal to the sum of lengths of the branches connecting them for this to be accomplished the following condition should be met for four sequences a b c and d as you can clearly see this equation in this slide minimum evolution is used for the construction of additive trees according to minimum evolution the tree with the minimum length that is sum of all branches in the tree is considered to be the best estimate of the phylogeny. A popular method in use for estimating a tree with minimum evolution is the neighbor joining tree. It is the most common method used for tree construction currently. As you see in the figure, the neighbor joining tree shows the genetic relatedness between five Indian tribes that is Siddhis, Gons, Varli, Dangi Konkan and Kolkha at the DRD2 gene. In this tree, Siddhi and Gons are most closely spaced in comparison to Siddhis and Varli. This is suggestive of genetic closeness of Siddhis and Gons. A node depicts point of divergence and can be considered to be a hypothetical ancestor. The node shown in this figure is a hypothetical ancestor of Varli, Siddhis and Gond tribes from which these groups have diverged. Now how reliable is your tree? The confidence that the tree obtained is of high accuracy, closest to the actual tree and precise can be tested. The reliability of an inferred phylogenetic tree can be estimated statistically in two ways. The first one is bootstrap analysis and the second one is jackknifing. Calculation of genetic distance involves consideration of the sampling variance and confidence interval. The bootstrap is applied to approximate sampling variance. The mathematical interpretation of a bootstrap is that if a given data set supports a statistical result, then randomly chosen subsets of the data will also give the same output. In phylogenetics, the bootstrap is conducted by resampling columns in an alignment with replacement. In other words, it initiates a resampling in which in a given data set columns or a subset of data are removed and the tree is rebuilt to check if the branches remain unchanged. The bootstrap values generated by using software to construct a tree are obtained as percentages. A value of 80 means the same node was constructed from 80% of all the randomly obtained data sets and a value more than 70 is often considered reliable. An alternative method is jackknifing or delete half jackknifing. This process eliminates half of the sites from the original sequences. This resampling technique is repeated to obtain numerous sub data sets. Each new sample is used to reconstruct a subtree. The frequency of each subtree is calculated. A 100% value of jackknifing implies that the subtree was obtained in all of the trees reconstructed. Multivariate analysis and genetic distance. A discussion on genetic distance to explain phylogenetic relationship is incomplete without mention of multivariate analysis that takes into consideration multiple variable to study these interpopulation relationships. The most widely used method are principal component plots due to the ease of understanding through graphics. The principal component plots reflect the genetic distance between individual or population using genetics data from multiple loci. One of the plots widely used are drawn by multidimensional scaling that is MDS 
MDS is general create general creates pictorial representation of distance matrix and the plot can be one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional genetic distance matrix are converted into genetic maps by using MDS analysis now principal coordinate analysis that is PCO and principal component analysis that is PCA are also aimed at graphically representation of genetic relatedness between a definite number of individual or population. The output of these plots allow visualizing the clustering in population which is difficult to infer from a matrix of numbers. A PCA represent similarity matrix of P elements and the similarity matrix is computed from the distance matrix by using a formula. In a PCA, the first principal component is a ion vector fitted to the correlation matrix obtained from molecular data on a population. The matrix explains most of the observed variation. The PCs that are subsequently extracted are perpendicular to the preceding PC and the ion values account for the variation explained by a PC. An MDS differs from the other two plots in that it takes a dissimilarity, distance or matrix as the input file. Now how to calculate the genetic distance? Many phylogenetic software packages are available for convenient calculation of genetic distance for different types of polymorphism data like RFLP or DNA sequences. But all these programs follow a common sequence of steps and use similar models. The genetic distance can be calculated by using data of one of the following categories like protein coding, exonic and non-coding, intronic or intergenic or UTRs, nucleotide sequence, amino acid sequence or allele frequencies. Here you can see the various softwares used to calculate different genetic distances or different genetic distance estimates like Dispan, PopGen, Mega, PopTreeW, etc. Example of genetic distance calculation using Mega, that is M E G A. Mega is molecular evolutionary genetic analysis which is a popular and one of the most user friendly software available for evolutionary genetic analysis in general and genetic distance estimation in particular. It is used for evaluating genetic distance between DNA or protein sequences. Now uh, there is a stepwise protocol for calculating pairwise distance between DNA sequences. The presentation in quadrant 2 describes the following steps with an example of the promoter that is non-protein coding region of X or unknown gene in the three individual using mega 4 and this mega 4 or mega uh, software is freely available in the website given in this slide. The first step is to click the above link to go to the mega homepage for downloading the software. Open the file with .exe extension to install the software on your computer. Step 2 is to open the installed progr program. Click the file and select a file with aligned sequence with a .fas extension or .fasta sequences. Click analyze on the dialog box. Analyze or align the file. Click OK on the data type nucleotide sequence and click No when asked the protein coding sequence data. Now step 3 is go down the editor window to ensure the absence of any other character except the nucleotide ATGC. In the above input file, the dash indicate gaps in alignment which can be left as it is. Step 4 is to calculate distance. Click on the distance on the mega toolbar. Choose the output pairwise distance. Choose yes when asked use the active file. To choose 
4 mega dot FAS and in step 5 click on the compute in analysis preference. Now step 6 is to draw a tree. Click on phylogeny in the mega toolbar. Choose the construct or test UPGMA tree and choose yes for choosing the active file. Then choose compute for analysis preference and save the output tree in different formats by Jinj to image on tree explorer. Step 7. Now to import the result window to go to the respective windows and choose among the available option to save the result in either Excel or CSV or MEG or text formats. Now to summarize this module, the genetic distance is used as an estimate to quantify differences both between individual and a group of population to adjudge the degree of their relatedness. A genetic distance estimate quantifies the genetic divergence between two molecular sequences that is DNA or protein or two individuals to study microevolution or taxa while studying the macroevolution. They can be used for classifying population or in making evolutionary comparisons. Now three of the majors have been very widely used that is Nee's distance, uh, genetic distance, D, Cavalli-Stroza cord major and Reynolds, Weir and Cockerham's genetic distance. Plots like multidimensional scaling principal coordinate and principal component plots are used to visualize clustering in the population. Different software programs are available for estimating the genetic distance and drawing phylogenetic trees. Thank you.